Yes. TMZ is reporting that uh, takeoff, one third of the rap group of Migos, is dead after an early morning shooting in Houston. Yeah, Fox 5's Dan Bowens joins us with the very latest on this investigation. Some big news coming out of this. Yeah, Bianca and Rosanna, no way around it. It's a devastating loss in the world of hip hop. A lot of this information just coming in in the last few hours. The rapper known as Takeoff shot and killed in an overnight shooting. This happened in Houston, Texas. According to TMZ, local police and several witnesses say this all happened at about 2.30 this morning. Takeoff, whose real name was Kirshnik Kari Ball, was one of the founding members of the chart-topping group Migos. He's seen here, right in the middle of your screen there. Police say he was killed at a bowling alley called 810 Billiards and Bowling Houston. We have some video from outside of the location where this all happened. Again, it all happened overnight, about 2.30 in the morning. According to TMZ, Takeoff and fellow, fellow Migos member Quavo were there playing dice when some kind of fight broke out, someone opened fire, shooting takeoff. Some reports indicate he was shot in the head and pronounced dead at the scene. Uh, there were some security guards that were in the area, but they heard the shooting, but no one saw who did the shooting. Um, a lot of folks were there. They were in front of the bar. The bar was actually closed at the time. They had the doors locked, but people were congregating out on the balcony area and everybody fled. And the Georgia-based group Migos was formed back in 2008. Their breakout single, Versace, was released in 2013. Takeoff was the youngest member of Migos and was 28 years old. Quavo was his uncle, and the third member, Offset, was his cousin. Most recently, Quavo and Takeoff unveiled a project as the duo Unk and Few. They had just released their latest music video as well. It was called Messy. That video came out just yesterday. Again, still a lot of unanswered questions here. We're still waiting to find out the specifics potentially of what led up to this shooting, that argument, and then the gunfire and a possible suspect or suspects. No one has been arrested at this point in this case. Quavo was not injured in the shooting.